Concern tonight over a popular Netflix series. Has schools in our area emailing parents? CBS 2's Lou Young takes a look at the differing opinions surrounding 13 Reasons Why. A cautionary tale about suicide is the latest binge TV rage for high school age viewers. Among the 15 year old girls we spoke with, those who hadn't seen it are getting ready to. A lot of my friends have watched it and they said it's really sad, but also they just really enjoyed it. They said they cried a lot. <laughs> yeah. You want to see it? Yes, definitely. 13 Reasons Why is an adaptation of a popular young adult novel where the central character explains her suicide on audio tapes she leaves behind, sending her perceived tormentors on a kind of post-mortem scavenger hunt. Engaging TV, but to some, troubling. I think it sends a message, a kind of glamorizing suicide. Watching the show, you may find it relentlessly depressing and hyperdramatic, but experts we spoke with say it is all also unnecessarily graphic and unrealistic. There's concern it could cause some real problems. We're worried about suicide contagion. Dr. Susan Hortner is mental health director for Rockland County, where all the high schools made a collective decision to caution parents about the series, relying on talking points published by the National Association of School Psychologists. The fear is students could identify too strongly with Hannah, the main character. That's part of the concern about the glamorization of suicide, that somehow, if you end your life, that you're going to be able to exact your revenge, you're going to be able to have an effect on people from beyond the grave. Keep professionals say is for adults to talk to teens viewing the show. I discussed it with my daughter and it made her more mindful of the her the impact of things that her actions have on other people that maybe she may not have considered before. Psychologists say it's best if parents watch the show with their children, if not, to make sure the teens know adult help is always available for someone in that kind of mental distress. Lou Young, CBS2 News.